from singing, dancing, to eating, and even just breathing, Jung Won Young has never failed to stir up the internet, and for that, it's not an exaggeration at all to say that she has now surpassed Blackpink's Jenny to become the most contentious and probably even controversial female idol of all time. At first, people only bashed her for questionably taking over the center position in Produce 101. But as time passed and Jung Won Young also gained more exposure, she has been found as the center of countless controversies on the internet. So why does everyone hate her so much? All the reasons making Jung Won Young the bullseye of criticism, one, exaggerating everything for the sake of looking pretty. Regardless of what she is doing, whether it's performing or doing normal activities on a daily basis, Won Young is always said to create an unnecessarily fabricated feeling. Most recently, when she filmed a commercial advertisement for Papa John's, she has become the topic of criticism again for eating pizzas in a weird way. And while it's a must for idols to look pretty in CFs, it's suddenly become a sin for Won Young to make sure she looked pretty here. According to netizens, she has exaggerated the eating of that pizza to the point of making them lose appetite tight, and considering the fact that a good CF is to lure more people to their store, Papa John seemingly has flopped hard this time. And Won Young herself was also said to have done a bad job in trying to look pretty as in the CF, she only appeared to be cringe and eerie. There were some that even claimed to have a prejudice against Won Young's anti-fans, but after looking at her pizza CF, they believed that the hate she received was justified, as she should have learned better from her strawberry eating controversy, which has just taken place not long ago rather than repeating the exact same thing and left all comments of netizens fall in deaf ears like that. In fact, not only does Won Young give off a fake and fabricating feeling when eating, but she is also said to do the same on other occasions, like interacting with her master fan sites, emceeing, or standing in the background to cheer for other artists' performances. Many have commented that her vibe was so fake that they felt uncanny, and while they used to try to take a neutral stance about what Won Young acted, they had stopped doing so because one, it's like trying to ignore the elephant in the room, and two, it wouldn't solve a single bit of the problem. By that, they meant by turning a blind eye on this matter, they were implicitly encouraging Won Young to exaggerate everything even more, and to this point, when she has become so fake that they automatically felt mentally sick even just by looking at her breathing. Some said, though, that they tried hard to not assume her attitude, though they couldn't help but feel like she was sugarcoating an evil, attention-seeking, and insidious personality for the sake of public love. 2. The uncanny obsession with the center position Entering the K-pop scene as a center of one of the most successful girl groups, especially at an extremely young age of 15, Jung Won Young seemingly has identified herself with that position only. As time passes, people notice her obsession with the center title only grows at lightning speed, and as a result, there were countless times where Won Young would go extra lengths just to make sure no one could overcast her and take over that position. Most recently, when IVE was performing at Unicon 2022, Won Young has garnered great criticism for casually asking Lee Ju to switch her the center position right on stage. And because this was an extremely narcissistic action to do, most were left speechless as to how she put on a natural face when doing so. Because of the noticeable height difference between Won Young and most members in IVE, she was said to ruin the group's harmonious image because Lee Ju, whose height is closer to the group's average, obviously soon the center position way better as she helped Ive appear equally stunning and tied everyone's dynamics together as a group. Won Young's toxic obsession with the center position was also noticed through the way she straight up put on an attitude with Gaul when Gaul stood in the middle of the group. Some even called this the trending beef between Won Young and Gaul, and it all started with how she would do everything to make sure Gaul did not stand in the center position when Ive took airport photos. At first, she just quietly sped up to jostle Gaul out of the center position when they were boarding. But on the second time, she straight up walked past Gaul, stood in the middle, and blatantly stroked poses, while other members were still walking. Many pointed out that considering the way Gaul slightly glanced at Won Young, they could tell she was left confused and uncomfortable because she knew that Won Young was deliberately ignoring everyone just for the center position. On one occasion, Won Young was even seen flagrantly talking to Yu Jin about the center position when Gaul was standing in the middle of Ive airport photos, and it wasn't until Yu Jin confirmed the group could do just fine without Won Young's being in the center that she stopped asking for it. 
On the surface, it might seem that the problem only lies at her eerie obsession of having to stand in the center, but after some time, people believe she is becoming the root of a bigger problem, always creating an unnecessarily toxic competitive atmosphere in IVE, and potentially giving way to another contentious bullying scandal of K-pop. Some even said they felt like looking at the second Miss A of K-pop, and probably even worse of a virgin since Won Young has been actively asking for attention and favoritism. Whenever watching IVE's content, thousands of netizens agree that the atmosphere was too tense, and the members also appear to refrain from interacting with Won Young. Looming signs of IVE's not-so-bright future have already been picked up by netizens and the most noticeable one until now was that certain members seem to have lost the confidence in shining as they deserved. For example, in the last snippet where Gaul was led to stand in the center, she appeared reserved and uncomfortable, as if she had just committed a sin for receiving more attention than Won Young. 3. Jung Won Young lacks all skills of an idol and is too lazy to improve herself. Despite being one of, if not the top, famous female idols of Gen 4, Won Young has still frequently made people raise eyebrows when it comes to her skills. That was not to mention how she has been in the industry for five years, excluding the training period, and still, she hardly manages to check the two most basic skills on an idol, singing and dancing. The proof of her questionable competency was only one click away on the internet as most recently, Won Young has received another wave of criticism after lip-syncing to IU's Strawberry Moon. What's even more triggering about this performance was that Strawberry Moon was very much of a ballad song and Won Young was also sitting throughout the stage, which meant no energy was wasted on dancing. So the fact that she still lip-synced was unacceptably absurd. Some pointed out that she couldn't even open her mouth properly to make the performance less fake until this point, she was literally deceiving and disrespecting the audiences. When it comes to Won Young's dancing, many said they even found it laughable as to how a person like her could still debut twice and still manage to garner most attention in the group because she almost looked like an elderly woman doing tai chi on every single stage. Diehard fans, on the other hand, often defend Won Young, explaining that the terribly packed schedule Starship Entertainment gave her for the sake of gaining as much money as possible was the reason hindering her from polishing the dancing and singing skills. However, most found the reasoning ridiculous because there were many other idols whose workload was twice times more packed as Won Young's, yet still managed to professionally pull every single performance off. NCT's Taeyong, NCT's Mark, and Blackpink's Lisa are some epitomes of this. That is not to mention how her peers who used to be labeled unsavable talentless like G-idol Shuhua, Le Seraphim Sakura, and Espa's Giselle have all taken a leap and proved themselves legit idols and yet here Won Young is with nothing but a doll-like face. Under the video where she rushed to take the center position at the airport, many joke that Won Young should have already debuted as a soloist at this point. Sadly, she wasn't prepared enough for all this because aside from the visual, she was said to have failed at checking all boxes of the basic idol skill set, which pathetically included the ability to make her lip syncing look realistic. Still, the defense is there and there are lots of fans who said all the hate just stemmed from girls' jealousy toward Jung Won Young. According to fans, Jung Won Young is literally the epitome of cyberbully's victim and all the hate she's got was because people, especially panicked girls, couldn't stand seeing such an 18-year-old girl amount to so many great things, have all the fame and money and lead such a privileged life while they are still there rummaging the internet all day for idols' news and crazily stoning them for every single action. Basically, fans said all those people who were hating on Won Young were diagnosed with a female enemy syndrome, a type of mental insecurity where girls would bring more attractive girls down for feeling threatened. But regardless of all these varied opinions, do you think Jung Won Young really deserves the hate? Are people too quick to judge or is the problem really Jung Won Young herself? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, remember to like, share and subscribe to Be Boss TV for more interesting K-pop content. Thank you for watching.